Hello, good morning, everyone. Uh, so, in this session, we have one objective that is uh, uh, we have to describe the histological feature or the histology of tongue. You may have a short note on to it. So, let's see. The tongue is a muscular organ and it is consisting of a core. This core is made up of the connective tissue and the skeletal muscle fibers. It is covered by the mucosa which is having an epithelium that is a stratified squamous epithelium and a lamina propria. Now this epithelium is of wet type so it is not keratinized but on the dorsum of the tongue we have the papillae. Papillae are the small elevations and they are partially keratinized. So the epithelium that is wet type of epithelium and it is specifically we mention that it is partially keratinized now so if you see an histological section of the tongue you will find here in the center of the chunk of the tissue you will get these structures these dark stained structure and these are the striated muscles skeletal muscles running in different directions in between them we have the connective tissue which is binding them so this light pink color area and then towards the ventral aspect of the tongue we have a collection of the serous and mucous glands which open onto the surface and helps to keep the tongue and tissues in the oral cavity moist now we come to this epithelium and the lamina propria this together forms the mucosa now this mucosa here we have the lamina propria this is the connective tissue which we call as the lamina propria and this is the epithelium which is a stratified squamous partially keratinized okay now we come to this dorsum of the tongue the dorsum of the tongue is very special and specific peculiar to the tongue that it shows the certain elevations now these elevations are known as the papillae these papillary these papillae are of four types most numerous are conical projections which are known as filiform papillae many of them they are like a uh, mushroom and are known as fungiform in shape and uh, there is another variety we will talk later that is circumvallate papillae these are the papillae which do not project above the surface but are embedded uh, on the top of the tongue in the posterior part in front of sulcus terminalis and are surrounded by a trench or a valley on the lateral border of the tongue we have leaf like papillae which are known as the foliate papillae which are not a prominent feature in the mammalian tongue. So now if you look into the try to look into the difference between this and this you will see that this area is a smooth right but here we can see that this area is not a smooth but rather it is showing some sort of projections see these are the projections. So, if you look into this, you will find on the top of that, if this is a smooth one, this is the surface, we will be seeing the projection of these like this. These are the papillae. Now, if they are conical, they are filiform and if they are uh, like a mushroom, then those are known as the fungiform papillae. So, focus it here that you can see several projections from the surface and the surface is not smooth as we can see onto the 
ventral aspect now we can see a larger diagram this is just for understanding that how a filiform papilla look like this is the surface of the filiform which is a conical projection and having a core of the lamina propria if you look into the scanning electron microscope you will find certain elevations like this these are nothing but histological picture of the same filiform papillae now here we have another projection which is like a mushroom having the core of the lamina propria and these are the fungi form papillae then we come to another variety that is circumvallate papillae if you look into the surface of the tongue dorsum aspect of the tongue uh, this has been divided by sulcus terminalis into the posterior one third and the anterior two third this is the median sulcus in front of the sulcus terminalis we will get the surrounded structure which are surrounded by a valley there is a all round trench gadda hai inke charo taraf so that's why these rounded uh, no uh, the uh, the elevations we are able to see uh, but not on the top of the surface at the plane of the surface we can see here they are circumvallate papillae because they are surrounded by circum means all around by a valley so these are the circumvallate papillae which are specifically uh can be seen by the gross eye uh by the cross examination also and you will be seeing characteristically them that uh these uh this is the epithelium and this is the lamina propria and this has been surrounded by the the side wall and between the side wall there is a gap this white area okay now another thing which is associated with the fungi form papillae and the circumvallate papillae is the presence of is the presence of a very special uh, characteristic for the tongue and that is the case buds case buds are not only found in the papillae especially circumvallate and the foliate but also uh, and the fungi form but also they are present in the soft palate in the epiglottis and the wall of the pharynx they as the name suggests are carrying the taste sensations now these if you look into this area broadly you can see here that in the epithelium we can see certain light areas it here also we can see certain lighter areas now these are specialized uh, apparatus i'll just show you in the next slide that how what they are made up of and you may have a note on the taste buds now in addition to it you will find in the posterior part of the tongue in relation to the circumvallate papillae the collection of the serous the glands which will secrete watery secretions you can see several of them they are here they are associated with the circumvallate papillae and are known as the von ebner's gland von ebner's glands these are the serous glands present in the tongue in relation to the circumvallate papillae now here we can see the uh, higher magnification of the taste buds this is one of the taste buds which you can see here this is having a uh, longitudinal cells like this you can appreciate by the nuclei so here we have these cells these cells these cells now uh, and the nuclei we can appreciate here now this is made up of three type of cells this is barrel shaped we have longitudinal cells Uh, which are especially neural neuro epithelial cells uh, at the towards the lamina propria the nerve they end here right another cell which support them are the cystenticular cells and then there are third category of cells which are smaller are known as the basal cells 
so they will be forming like this a barrel shaped structure nuclei arranged in the different strata as you can see here so this is the structure of the uh, taste buds comprising of the special cells which are known as the gustatory cells second variety of the cells are the sustentacular cells and third are the basal or the smaller cells which are also known as the stem cells now at the top towards the uh, crater or the valley there is an opening here right and that opening is known as the taste pore or the gustatory pore so you will find these uh, special uh, provisions in the epithelium uh, which is lining the circumambulate papillae the uh, foliate and the fungiform papillae so finally we come to uh, concluding remark about the tongue that the tongue is having the two portions one is the mucosa and other one is the core core is made up of the skeletal muscles and the connective tissue containing the artery vein and the nerve and the glands which will help to wet the surface and also to dissolve the chemicals in the food then the mucosa the mucosa is comprising of the stratified stratified squamous epithelium which is partially keratinized and the special projections of foci and resting on the lamina propria thank you